Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a circle and inside this circle is the segment AB, which is uh, drawn horizontally and perpendicular to this uh, vertical radius. And above this uh, segment AB, uh, but below the points of this uh, circumference, below on the points, I mean the, there are three circles. Uh, radius of uh, 4 for the green and uh, 5 for the yellow circle and they are actually a tangent to uh, each other and also tangent to the segment uh, AB and we are required to find the length of segment AB okay so we can actually uh, first uh, do is uh, to draw the seg the segment from the center of this uh, yellow in the green circle this uh, segment and also downwards from the yellow to the center of this uh, blue circle and from this uh, center of the green to the center of the blue and also a horizontal line from this uh, center of the green to the uh, previous line so this is actually perpendicular and this is also perpendicular so we actually uh, form two right triangles okay so if we uh, get the length of this uh, the two right triangles okay so for this uh, small uh, right triangle, this is actually uh, this is actually five minus uh, uh, since this is uh, four and this is uh, five. So from this uh, point, this is actually a uh, five. This is actually four because this is the radius. If this is green circle and this is a horizontal line the blue horizontal line so if the total is 5 this is actually 4 also and since the radius of the yellow is 5 so this becomes 1 and uh, for this uh, length we just need to add the uh, 5 and 4 so this becomes a uh, 9 and uh, for this uh, length, so since this length, we have here the unknown radius, but you need to subtract this uh, for you need this radius of this uh, for green uh, radius of the green circle. So if we represent the radius as r, then this should be a uh, r minus four. Okay, so likewise for this uh, yellow circle, so if you have this as 5, okay, this is actually 5, but from this uh, perpendicular intersection, okay, so this intersection, this is actually R, uh, I mean from the intersection of this uh, the perpendicular uh, this horizontal blue line and the vertical line from that point from that intersection this will be actually r minus 6 because you need to add this uh, two segments this uh, 5 and 1 and the radius we need to subtract it from the radius which is r so that length is actually r minus 6 Okay, so we can actually isolate the this tri this uh, I mean the two triangles. So uh, for the we can actually write an equation Pythagorean theorem. And since uh, we see that this uh, uh, vertical segment is equal to both of these uh, two right triangles, so we can actually uh, equate this as this equal. So if we segment this as if we write this as uh, segment CD 
So CD square is equal to CD square. So for, for the left, so we have here uh, R minus 4 square minus uh, R minus 6 square. And for the right, we have here uh, 9 square minus uh, 1 square. Okay, so simplifying. So if we get the square of this uh, binomial, this r minus 4, this becomes uh, r square minus uh, 8r plus 16 minus uh, r square minus 12r plus 36 is equal to, this is actually 81 uh, minus 1. So 81 minus 1 square is becomes 80. So uh, we simplify further r square minus 8r plus 16 minus r square uh, plus 12r minus 36 is equal to 80. Okay, so we can actually cancel this uh, r square, r square and uh, minus r square. And uh, if we combine this r, negative 8r, and 12r, this becomes uh, 4r. So 4r um, is equal to 80 minus uh, 16 plus 36. So 16 minus 36 is, uh, this is... Uh, 20. So 80 plus 20 is 100. So 4R is equal to 100. So if we divide both sides by 4 or multiply by uh, 1 fourth, so we have uh, R is equal to 25 units. Okay, so now that we have got the value of this uh, raise for the blue circle, so we are uh, going to uh, find another triangle. And since we know that the radius is 25, so from this center to this point B, so this is actually a 25. And uh, from this, uh, perpendicular point or the tangency of this red and the yellow red segment and the yellow this is actually a, uh, r minus uh, 10 because uh, this is actually a uh, we need to subtract the diameter of the yellow so that is r minus 10 and this and the r is, r is already available so uh, R minus 10 uh, simply becomes 25 minus 10 or 25 minus 10 or 15. So we are left to find this uh, length which is half of AB. Okay, so we can actually use, of course, the Pythagorean theorem to find the half of a uh, a, B. So, we just need to find this half of A, B. Okay. So, uh, half of A, B uh, squared is equal to this uh, hypotenuse square. So, 25 square minus uh, this uh, 15 square. Okay. So, focusing on this uh, right triangle, so uh, one half uh, AB is equal to the square root of this. So, 25 uh, times 25 is uh, 625 minus uh, 225. So, this gives us a uh, uh, square root of uh, 400. 
Okay, so that is half of AB. And half of AB is equal to square root of 400 is 20. So 20. So 20. So you just need to cross multiply. So, so you need to multiply it by 2. So AB is equal to 40 units and that is our answer okay so in our case since if you already know the radius another way to find it is by the cross chord theorem or the intersecting chord theorem so in euclidean geometry the intersecting chord theorem or just the chord theorem is a statement that is that describes a relation of the four line segments created by the two intersecting chords within a circle it states that the products of the lengths of the line segments on each chords are equal so in our case so the chords concerned are uh, the a b okay a b and this uh, blue uh, vertical segment the diameter so for the horizontal so to get the segments so for the horizontal one segment is this this is actually a half of a b and this uh, next is half of a b also okay and for the vertical we have here uh, this is actually the diameter of the yellow 5 times 2 since the radius is 5 so 10 and uh, downwards so uh, since the radius is actually uh, 25 so we have to subtract 25 i mean 10 from 25 so we have here 15 and since the radius is 25 then this is actually a uh, 25 okay so to use a cross curve theorem considering the segments formed by the intersection so for the horizontal uh, we have here uh, one half of uh, a b and multiply that with the uh, the next uh, segment by uh, with respect to the intersection on the right so one half uh, a b is equal to for the vertical we have here uh, 10 up to the intersection from the top so 10 then from the intersection to the uh, downward so we have uh, 15 plus uh, 25 so uh, we just multiply this uh, this becomes a one fourth uh, a b square okay so one fourth a b square is equal to uh, this becomes a uh, 40 so 10 times 40 is uh, 400 so if you cross multiply we have uh, a b square is equal to 400 times uh, 4 and a b square square is equal to 1600 and if you get the square root of both sides so a b uh, is equal to plus or minus uh, 40 so since there is no negative distance so a b is uh, just uh, 40 and that is our answer if we use the cross chord theorem or intersecting chord theorem so thank you for watching until the end of the video Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.